Good day, good people. Welcome back with myself, Rusty Money, here on PlayStation Network and Rusty Money Gaming on YouTube. We are here on Black River with my recorded series called Surviving Black River. Here for Farming Simulator 22 on PlayStation 5. <clears throat> so right now, in this series, we are in our first day of April. We have just over $49,000 and we are windrowing our grass field here that we harvested just before we went live or went to record here. And <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and load up all this grass, put it in a silage bunker and get it compacted to uh sell it for silage money and we um are gonna go down to the store here shortly and we're going to uh, i believe make a purchase or two and get those uh pieces of equipment back up here to the farm we will also see what else we can get done here as we progress forward and um get closer to our first crop harvest right there in our field in front of our tractor right now so I can't wait for that to get that done and uh, see what we get off of there this here is actually uh, I believe like our second um, harvest off of this field so it'll be interesting to see what we get off of this and uh, put in our silage bunker also thinking about uh, cutting down a couple of trees here and uh, on the property and putting down potentially a new shed so then we don't have to worry about that once we get a little bit closer to winter and we can get that uh, harvester put under storage. So we will see how that goes here in this episode. But we are moving right along. We got uh, lots to do. <clears throat> I also am considering on... Um, once we get closer to the time where we can't plant anything for a crop or I should say the crop I want to plant um, we will I think possibly uh, plow in this small grass field here and we're gonna plant potatoes in it I think if we are in the right season to plant potatoes So, we'll just see what happens and if we uh, are able to do that. So this might be the <clears throat> last harvest off this grass field. For grass, anyway. Alright. We just got this little piece of grass here yet to get windrowed. And then we can start picking it up and see what we got hopefully we got a decent amount of liters off of here really would be nice to make a little bit of money but I'm gonna go ahead I think and not compact any of it until we have um, harvested our other grass field too and uh, end up with uh, more uh, silage in our bunker. So let's go drop this down here by our other equipment. And we will grab our loading wagon and get that grass picked up. Let's detach that right there. All right. Let's hook up to our new loading wagon we bought. <clears throat> 
we sold our other one you know it was just too big besides the fact that it didn't doesn't connect up to the tractor really well and this here uh, older one that's a lot smaller um, it hooks right up to it we don't need a draw bar on our tractor or nothing so a very very good mod well made so now let's take this thing and pick up some grass and give in our bunker to make silage let's see what we can get for grass off this little field <clears throat> hopefully we fill this uh, old forage wagon uh, about three times I hope it only holds like 8,500 liters or something like that I think so it doesn't have a very big capacity but uh, hopefully we get a couple of loads off of this field we'll find out though Would be nice to see an update to this forage wagon with a little bit uh, bigger capacity, like uh, I would say like 12,000, 12 to 15,000. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> Maybe even a silage additive tank to it. That'd be really cool, too. Looks like we're only going to get one full load plus a little bit extra. All right, we are full. So let's go ahead and dump this in our silage bunker for getting it compacted later. Get this all in here. There we go. It's all in there now. Let's see how close we can get to a second load. We might get a second load off of here. That would be pretty nice. Now the purchase that we're going to make down at the store, I'm pretty excited about. We are going to be buying... A second tractor for our farm here with the possibility of uh, maybe in the future selling this tractor right here if we need some money to get something but for right now I think we'll keep this tractor this tractor here will be kind of our farmyard tractor it'll do a lot of the things around the farm and our other tractor will do a lot of our um, hauling to sell our product and to also um, do any contracts with if we uh, consider doing a contract or two because we can do contracts but I limited myself to only uh, contracts that pay 5000 or less so maybe we'll get a contract or two in some more We've done a few contracts, but not really very many. I don't even have to look and just show you what we've done for contracts. One of, one of the contracts, maybe two of the contracts we've done, I did cancel. <clears throat> and I don't remember why I did, but <laughs> I think it was because I didn't mean to to do the contract but all right we are going to end up with a little bit of silage in here oop now why did that uh, shut back we still have there we go um and my silage wagon is still on why are you still on usually when you're empty you shut off all right, now it should work. There we go. There we go. Now we got her emptied. 
<clears throat> All right, we will go see just what is in here for now, what we got off of that field. Let's see here. What did we get? We have 14,269 liters of chaff in here from that grass field. So not too bad. We'll put our other grass fields in there, I think, before we compact that. <clears throat> and get ourselves a bigger silage harvest. All right, let's go put this down here. And I think we'll go ahead and park this out of the way for now, just in case we decide to do a shed. So we're going to go down here and turn this around. <clears throat> and park this off into our grass here. Let's drop it right there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Got a frog in my throat. All right. Well, maybe a donut in my throat stuck. All right. Let's move our harvester, too, because I think we're going to end up potentially getting ourselves a shed, possibly. A little bit bigger. Well, not a, I shouldn't say a little bit bigger shed, but just another shed that we will be able to uh, have for equipment. So let's put that right there for now. <clears throat> we'll have to move these uh, pallets. So let's go ahead and do that. Go ahead and move these pallets. And then make sure that we have our area kind of smoothed off. I'm not sure how big my shed is going to be. But I want to get... Alright, where are we going to put it? Let's go put it back here. There's all kinds of room. <clears throat> we need to do some more construction to our shed here. Let's just put these down right here for now. This will be okay. We got the building materials to do some more construction to our shed so we can put up some walls. We got all this uh, timber, or logs, if you will, on this property, so we did get some more uh, wood planks made, if you will, or lumber made, <laughs> so we can finish making our shed here, or I should say... Updating our shed a little bit. Alright, now let's uh <clears throat> let's go put this out of the way here. Get our pallet fork off. Alright, let's move the tractor here now. All right, we do need to get down to the store. And uh, we need to uh, make that purchase. So we're going to have to drive it back. But is there anything that we don't need that maybe we can take there and sell? But I think everything here that we have, we currently use... <clears throat> There is one thing I'm considering selling. 
Let's see now. We might need our lizard miner and uh, go uh, do this. Let's see though. What do I want to do? We're going to have to see what kind of money we have left first off. So I think we just as well hop in our John Deere. And I think what I want to do is the one thing I do believe I want to sell is this right here. We're going to get a, something a little bit bigger. Let's potentially sell that. I wonder if that will hook up to the truck. Because <clears throat> then we could get a pallet of fertilizer or whatever for our olive garden or olive trees so they produce better. Let's check that out. Let's just set this right here. Uh, now I'm not, not sure if it hooks up to this. Let's detach that. Let's see if it'll hook up. Oh, yeah, it does. Okay, well, let's do this. Yeah, let's go pull this down there. We could bring back, potentially, a pallet or two of fertilizer and uh, get that into our... Uh, olive trees to help them grow a little bit better so we're going to go on over to the store and make our new purchase so we'll see you over at the store everybody Welcome back everybody. Well, you can see now that we only have $3,181 since we got our new tractor from used sales and our new liquid tanker. Um, we did have about 7000 and some, but we've spent some on some seeds and manure um, we got some seeds and manure from the livestock market we got manure and we got seeds from over here at the grain mill area so we have made those purchases to fill up one of the olive trees and I'll show you that now So here is one of our olive trees. We got 15,000 liters of manure in it and 5,000 liters of seeds in it. We didn't get any over to the other olive tree yet, but we're going to see if we can get ourselves a little bit of money here. These are the two trees that we cut down where I'm going to hopefully put a shed at. 
so we only got ourselves another mm, $905 plus a $97 bonus. So not a lot of money there, but we can um, get ourselves some more product. So you can see here we can buy lime fertilizer and seed. We can buy lime fertilizer and seed from here. Man, that place is loud, so I apologize for that, everybody. Uh, expensive venture there I'm not sure if it's cheaper to buy them there but it's easier it's closer now we only have one thousand six hundred eighteen dollars left and um, we need to get this into that olive tree so it can start making some more um, product for us hopefully Hopefully a little bit better of a product since we got seeds and manure in one of it now. But we've been busy over here at the farm. Um, we made an upgrade to our shed. So our workshop area in our shed looks a little bit nicer now. So we'll show you that here when we get into the farmyard. Well, there you go. You can see that right there. We got uh, two sides up on our shed here. Two walls up on our, on our shed. So it'll help kind of protect our uh, workshop. Now the next thing I want to do is put a nice uh, wall right here. And uh, then potentially a wall right here. And we'll keep this other side of the shed open, I think. But I think we got some nice work done there. Now let's go throw this in that olive tree that we've started to work on. So we'll dump this there and... Uh, Hopefully this will help us uh, get some more. What happened to our tree? What happened to my olive tree? <laughs> okay, I hope I'm not having issues with this game save now or I'll be really unhappy. Um, does it not work if you put manure in it? Does it get the, take the tree away? Oh, man, I don't know. But anyway, our tree is gone. We're going to have to keep an eye on that. Good thing we don't got anything in the other one right now. What's that got for it now? Ooh, it's almost full of seed then, too. All right, well, we don't have much money, everybody. We've got $1,618. Um, yeah, 
I think that we're going to conclude this episode right here. Um, we can get manure over at the livestock market, but it doesn't cost us very much at all. It costs us uh, not even, if I remember right, from what I loaded up, not even like uh, $700 or so. And we can get like 4,000 liters of uh, manure. So not very expensive at all, pretty cheap. But we do got ourselves a 100 horsepower tractor now. We could have got 130, but we saved some money and it's only got 100 horsepower. But that'll be nice. We put the front loader on it. We just don't got a appropriate front loader for it. We could sell this and uh, get in the hopes of uh, maybe uh, getting another tractor and use sales eventually and just keeping our bigger tractor for now. That would help our money situation out right now too. We could get a little bit back for our tractor and the loader and the pallet fort for it. Yeah, what do y'all think? Should we keep the little tractor? I'm really liking that little tractor again, so I don't know if we should keep it around or or sell it. But, uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this uh, episode here, please drop me a tasty one on that like button, which is better known by myself as a cop battery and by you all people as delicious, don't it? Don't forget to leave us a comment in the comment section, and please share a box of donuts by sharing the videos and the live streams from the channel. But for myself, Rusty Money, we will see you all on the flip side, everybody. Have a good one. PlayStation.